So the reason I brought up the issue of poor lighting in these lanes is because, as you can see, there's a steep incline here uh, in Hobson's Lane and Woodslip Lane next door. And in these lanes, at night time, it's very, very poorly lit. Uh, these will be the main arteries uh, along with St. Michael's Square to and from the new state-of-the-art bus stops we're going to have in the marina area and also our hopefully public toilets when they're upgraded. So we need to know that these areas are pro properly lit for personal security, for safety, for health and safety and as you can see there are some businesses and some tenants that use these lanes as well and it is very appropriate that these are funded properly as infrastructure, urban infrastructure for our town. This is not a situation that can be patched up by notice of motion money. We need a proper plan and we need proper finance so that these areas can bring back our nighttime economy, uh, give some support to our pubs and clubs and hospitality industries which are badly, badly in need of some uplift. As soon as things open up, we want to have these areas ready to go. We're at a stage when we're hoping to welcome new visitors, cyclists and walkers as soon as these restrictions lift. We're looking for tourism under Hidden Heart Lands and we want these lanes to be a connection between our two hotels, uh, between the Shearwater and Galans, between our pubs and our clubs. We're going to have a very accessible uh, bus stop and we want the people who use this bus stop to have very accessible routes in and out to our town. And we want our pubs, clubs, cafes and nighttime economy to get an uplift and it's very important that we support that now and we put these things in place at this stage.